All right. So we're going to start on our hands and knees. I'm going to start with some scat presses. So you're going to be pushing through your shoulder, almost like you're doing the cow version of cat cow. Just getting your shoulders nice and warm. We're going to be doing a lot of overhead stuff later. And then from here, walk your hands out forward so you pull your hips back and shift side to side. Plant your elbows. You're gonna bring your hands up towards one another so your palms are together. And then bring your hands forward and back towards your spine. Let's do that 10 times. And then leave one arm forward and get the other one out of the way. And then you're gonna bring that hand towards the mat and away like that, folding your forearm in front of you. Eight to 10 times. And then same thing on the other side. And then we'll roll over to our backs and I want you to place your elbows on the floor so you're goal posting your arms like this. Keeping everything touching the floor, you're gonna press your arms long, reaching for the wall behind you and then pull back down. Let's do eight to 10 of those. Extensions on our back. Nice, and then fold over to one side so your hands are on top of one another, your knees are stacked. Then you're gonna open your top hand, look over your shoulder. Let's do five of those per side. So opening up, watching your hand as it goes, keeping your knees together, just opening your upper back. Same thing on the other side, five times. Nice. And then let's roll over. We're gonna go into an elbow plank. We're gonna start to get a little more heat in the body. So we're gonna do an elbow plank together. We'll start in two, one, here we go. Nice, holding for 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Walk your hands and feet together. Roll up nice and slow. Set your feet in squat position. And we're gonna do some slow descent squats. So let's come down to the bottom of our squat together. We're gonna go for 20 seconds here. Just working our way down to the bottom of a few squats. Nice and slow. Yes, kitty cat squats. <laughs> go Jen. <laughs> This is one more. 
And then we'll come down to the floor again. This time we're gonna be in a reverse plank position. So hands will be behind you. Plant your heels here. And we're gonna drive our hips towards the ceiling. You can do this with bent legs to take a little bit of the pressure off, or you can keep them extended. Holding for 20. Nice. Your head can just be relaxed or chin to your chest, it's up to you. Five more seconds. And bring those hips down. You're gonna come over into a, a, a tabletop position. And then here we're gonna get our belly set so our abs are tight and then we're gonna extend one arm opposite leg and then bring it in. Let's do five on that side. Bringing elbows to knee each time. And then switching to the other side for five. And then we'll go right back into that elbow plank. We're gonna go through one more time. So we'll start together in three, two, one. Elbow plank for 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Two, one, rest. Then we'll stand up for those slow air squats for 20 seconds. Just taking your time to warm up your hips a little bit. Nice. Nice squats, everybody. Good, then we can come down to the floor for reverse plank. We'll do another 20 seconds here. Again, legs can be bent or straight. Starting in three, two, one, here we go. Holding for 20. Squeezing your butt, squeezing your belly so your back doesn't do all the work. 10 more seconds. Good, bring those hips down. We'll do one more set of those bird dogs on hands and knees, extending opposite arm, opposite leg, reaching in, tapping knee to elbow five times on that side, then switching to the other for five. Nice, and while we're down here, we'll get a little quad stretch. So if you can get into a lunge position, we have a few options for this quad stretch. You can either reach back with the same hand and grab the top of that foot, or you can reach back with your opposite hand and grab the top of your foot. And then while you're there, you're gonna squeeze your glute and press your hip forward. You can keep your hand down or you can stay upright. And what I want you to do is squeeze your glutes and then release them. Squeeze and release. So that stretch gets a little deeper each time. And good, and then we'll switch to the other side. Same thing, you can reach back with the same hand or you can reach back with the opposite hand Squeezing and releasing that glute. Okay, right, so we'll come on out of that. Awesome, stand on up. So we're gonna get for Bulgarian split squat. That's our strength today in the legs. 
So for the Bulgarian, you need like something that you could put your foot up on. So I'm going to use a chair, for example. You could have a chair or you could use a coffee table or a couch or something like that. You want it to be like roughly around the height of your knee. It could be a little bit lower, a little bit higher. And then let's, we'll do the first round unweighted to see how it feels and then we can go weighted from there as well. So before we even do the Bulgarian, let's get into the bottom of our lunge position. So where you would be at the bottom of your lunge, you'll notice like it, you're in a 90-90. So your front leg is 90 degrees, your back leg is 90 degrees. We still wanna aim for this in the Bulgarian. So just like look at yourself in your camera and see 90-90, what that looks like. And then when we stand up, we're going to set up our back foot on this bench or chair. And when you come down to the Bulgarian split squat, you're going to come straight down and you're still trying to hit that 90-90. So I'm not going to push my knee too far forward here. If you set up too narrow, you end up pushing your knee forward. So set up far enough with your foot that you can come down to a 90-90 position. Your back leg won't be exactly perfect 90 but your front leg should still aim for 90. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go right into our first set of 10. So we're gonna start on that side for 10 reps. Here we go, first rep. One, yeah, go for 10. Two, if you fall behind me, that's okay. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll switch to the other side. Get that foot set. And we'll start in three, two, one for ten reps. One, two, there you go. Three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and 10. Take a rest. Good. So you tried it now. If you find it unsustainable, you can instead do a standing split squat where your foot is not elevated and you're coming down. You could also use an object like a couch or a table to support that lunge. So those are some options if that felt like that's not gonna be sustainable for you. If it felt like you could add weight, you're welcome to hold weight. I'm good. <laughs> I feel good, that's gonna be enough. We're gonna do four more rounds like that, 10 each side. Anyone notice anything that they need adjusted for that? Does it feel the right amount of difficult? <laughs> All right, yes, it feels the right amount of difficult for me too. Okay, we'll start in 30 seconds with round two. Whew. All right, get your feet set. Have that foot up. We're gonna start in three, two, one. First rep, one, two. If you get behind me or ahead, that's okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. Oh, I almost knocked my chair over. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. First rep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, nice job, everybody. Whew, so spicy. Oh, 
All right, good work. If you're feeling kind of imbalanced, just make sure your feet are still wide enough set that you're not gonna fall over. So like you can step this foot slightly out so there's some space between your legs. Whew. Get some water. All right, 10 seconds till we go to round three. Let's get that foot up and we'll start in three, two, one. First rep, one, two. Nice job, everybody. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, so good. Switch to the other side. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Woo. Good job. All right, we'll rest till 1740. I'm really glad I'm doing this with you all because there's no way I would choose to do a Bulgarian split squat by myself. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> all right. So we have two more rounds that we're gonna work through here. If you want an extra challenge on these last two, you could always throw a weight up onto your shoulders. I'm gonna stick with body weight, I think. <laughs> Hannah, I have a question about like the amount you're supposed to dip. I feel like I'm not going down that it's far. It's kind of like your range of motion, right? Okay. So if, if you can't go down that far because you feel like you get stuck in your own mobility, you just go to where you can go. And the more you try them, the more you'll be able to get a little bit lower. But first day, just give yourself a break. <laughs> be nice to yourself. Let's get one foot up. Here we go. In two, one, first rep, two. Three. That looks good to me, Kirsten. Four. Five. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Other leg is up. Starting. Three, two, one. Here we go. Up one. Two. Three. Four. Nice, Megan. Five. Six. There you go, Grace. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whew. One more round. Okay, we'll go till one minute, then we'll go one more time. Whew. Okay. This is our last one, so there's a light at the end of this leg tunnel, this dark leg tunnel. <laughs> All 
All right, in 10 seconds, get your feet ready in three, two, one. First rep, one, two, there you go, Jen, three, four, nice, Lara, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, other side. Starting in two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice, after you finish, grab some water. Shake those legs out a little bit. And you can remove your chair from this situation. into the chat because it's a lot of elements in case you get lost during it. All right, so it's a lot of things. But don't worry, because I'll remind you what's coming. And if you get lost or you feel like you're going to get lost, just do exactly what I'm doing it as I'm doing it. And you'll have plenty of work done. So the, I'm going to show you all these movements first with one dumbbell, because I think Grace, Kirsten, Megan, you probably have a one object that you're going to use, right? You have two, okay, if you have one or two, I'll show you how that looks, okay? I'll, I'll grab two. And then I'll show you how it looks with the sandbag. So, cause I think Lara and Heather might be using a sandbag. I don't know, Jen, do you have dumbbells? Or dumbbell, perfect. Okay, so first movement is the power clean. The power clean is really about a fast and snappy little leg drive. So let's just try that without the weight. What I want you to do is little, do a little dip drive and catch in the dip. So it's like you're doing a little pop. You're catching with nice bent legs. Yeah, so don't catch with straight legs. You wanna catch with a little bend. Yeah, that's perfect. So now you're gonna take that same idea and you're gonna bring your arms to your, your hands to your shoulders. Little pop, catch in the bend. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So now you're gonna take your dumbbells and you're gonna bring them to right below the knee. You're gonna pop and catch on the shoulders. And you can do that with one or two. Perfect. If you have the sandbag, you're going to do that same thing. But you'll have the sandbag in front and catch it here. And you can do, Daphne gave us a fancy technique. If you grab the outside and inside handle, then you can do it a little more easily. That's thing one. You're going to do 20 reps of that. Once the weights are up, for your last clean, now you can move to the thruster. So for this one, we're gonna do a full squat, and at the top, drive those dumbbells overhead. Full squat, dumbbells overhead. Let's try three. And try to use the squat to really like accelerate out of the bottom. Good. Yeah, so you'll, yeah, exactly. So for Grace, for one object, You'll hold it here the whole time. Pop up. So it'll be at the chest and extend up exactly. Uh-huh. Perfect. Great. So after you do thrusters, we're going to go right into push press. 
which is like half of a thruster. So you're gonna start off at the top, a little dip, drag overhead. So now it's not full squat, it's just that little dip. Let's try that. Good. Nice. Great. After you do the push press, you're gonna ditch one of these dumbbells and you're just gonna have one for the next few movements. So you're gonna go into a snatch now where you have the dumbbell starting in between your feet and all in one motion, you're gonna bring it up overhead. Like that. You can also do this with the sandbag. Get that double grip. Like that. Okay? Nice, so that's the snatch. After you've done 20 of those total, you can alternate arms whenever you feel like it. You could do 10 and 10 or however many you want on each side. Then you're gonna keep the dumbbell up and we're gonna squat to the bottom on one side. So you're gonna have that one arm up, squat to the bottom, and you'll change arms whenever you need to or want to. If holding a weight overhead in that position is too challenging, you can just bring your arms up for these overhead squats. So it adds that extra challenge of having your arms up. That's the overhead. Because that's, that's a very challenging thing to do, hold the dumbbell overhead and squat. So if it doesn't work for you, just hold your arms up. Because then we're gonna finish with the front squat. So you'll bring that weight back down to the shoulder and now you're gonna front squat. And this could be with either one weight or two. It's completely up to you. That's a lot of things, isn't it? It's all the things actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much most of the movements ever. <laughs> so we're gonna work for 12 minutes. AMROP 12 means as many rounds as possible in 12. Laura, did you say something? I said it's a lot of squats. So oh, why can't I hear you? Oh, wait, hold on. Say that one more time. I just said it was a lot Say it of one more squats. time. A lot of squats. Yeah, it's just a lot of squats. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> so we're, we're doing all the things. But what I want to remind you of is that we're going to work for 12 minutes. Your goal is just to work for 12 minutes. So if you forget something, you skip something, you do too many of one thing, not enough of the other, you're still gonna be sweaty, you're still gonna be happy at the end. And if you get behind, just follow along exactly with where I am. If you get stuck or like you forget something, just to copy what I'm doing, okay? Um, it's all in the chat, but we'll do it together. I'm gonna do the first round with dumbbells because so many of you have dumbbells and I'll do the second round with my sandbag. So if you have a sandbag, you can copy along with that, okay? All right, let me see a little shimmy if you're ready. Yes, thank you, Jen, give me a good shimmy over there. Okay, Woo! So 12 minutes to work, as many rounds as you can get through of those 20s, but just enjoy yourselves. We're gonna start in 10, the first thing we're gonna do is power cleans. So that's starting from here, ending at the shoulder, okay? 20 reps of those, two, one, here we go, starting from mid shin, hopping to the shoulder. 20 reps. Yes, try to make it feel smooth and balanced. Don't worry about much else. That's 10 for me. Good job, team. Woo! Two more for me. Once you're done with the power cleans, they're up. You're gonna squat and pop them overhead. If it feels too heavy, you can always put one down and do one side. We're gonna do 20 total. Nice. I have three more. Woo! 
After this, we're gonna be in the standing position, push press, little dip, drive the dumbbell overhead. 20 total. These are a little faster, just because you don't have so far to go. Nice. Good job. Yes, I like your alternating, Kirsten. That's perfect. Woo. After that, we're going to move right into the snatch. So from the ground to the ceiling in one swift movement. Switch arms whenever you feel the need. Two more for me on this side. Awesome. When you're done with those 20, the dumbbell stays up, you squat. 10 per arm. And for this, you can always just do arm overhead or both arms overhead for 20. Yeah, that's great. That's so hard. Good job, Megan. Then you'll have your dumbbell back in the front. You can hold it with both hands or one, and we'll do 20 squats to finish off. Woo! So many squats. Looks like we're gonna work through about three rounds, two and a half maybe. That's awesome. All right, nice work. Whew. Take a little rest or get yourself ready to start again with the power clean. This time I'm gonna use my sandbag, but it'll look pretty much the same. Yeah, they're nice bar work. All right, so we're gonna go right into that next round. Starting with the power cleans. 20 reps. Woo, I'm losing sand. Nice. Nice job, team. After that, we're moving straight to those thrusters, so full squat. Driving up at the top for 20. Amazing. Good. After those thrusters is that push press. Just a little dip on this one, nice and fast.
Nice job. Yes. Thruster to push press, then push press to snatch. So that's with one hand if you have your dumbbell or a sandbag. You're gonna go for two. those snatches is the overhead squat. It's starting to get real spicy. We only have four and a half minutes left, so we're really rocking this. It's getting tough. <laughs> Y'all are rocking it. Less than four minutes to go. After your overhead squat is the front squat. That's with the weight right here. So many squats. Nice. Keep your abs tight during these squats. Don't lose control of your belly. Whew. Three minutes left. We'll get through as much of that last round as we can. Power cleans. Yes, I'm ready when you are, Kirsten. Power cleans. There you go, Grace. Nice job. There you go, Jen. Wow, we are so strong. Look how tough we are. It's only two and a half minutes left. This goes so fast, right? After those power cleans is the thruster. I'm moving to one side because two arms is feeling pretty tough. Switch whenever you need. Nice power cleans, Grace. Way to make it work. Amazing. After those thrusters, is that power, or sorry, that push press. So stay high a little faster. A little bend the leg this time. Wow, look at that. Only a minute 20 left. Whew. Nice. Snatches come after the push press. Perfect. Really pull that elbow high, like you're gonna elbow the sky. There you go. Woo, 40 seconds.
Last 30, team. We got rest coming up. So just keep going. You got this. Add to the snatches those overheads. You got 15 seconds. Woo! Raise the roof. In three, two, one. Oh! Shake those legs out. Shake your brain out, all that thinking. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm gonna pause my tunes. Wow, that was something else, huh? Let's end in the quad stretch that we did in the beginning. We'll hold it a little bit longer this time. So if you want to put some sort of pad underneath your back knee, so we'll be on it a little longer. And then either grabbing with your same hand or opposite hand. Well, somehow harder to do now. And then we'll try to hang here for about a minute on this side. Really just let that quad soften up a little bit after all those squats. Like probably everybody did two rounds, so at least 120 full squats. <laughs> it's a lot. And then we'll switch to the other side, same thing, either same side or opposite hand, whichever one feels best or gives you the best stretch. I'm having a hard time getting my balance here. <laughs> Might be a little tired, I can hardly stay upright. I'm proud of us. It's only 7.48 in the morning and we've done a lot of stuff <laughs> like the rest of the day is going to be a piece of cake compared to that All right, we'll come out of that. <sighs> Good job, everybody. Before you go, just type into the chat your favorite movement of the ones we did, of the whole day. Your favorite one. I think mine, I love doing a snatch. Thrusters, Jen, I've never heard anybody say that before. I love that. Snatches, okay. Yep, snatch. It just feels like so graceful, right? Stretching, yes. <laughs> That's honest. Overhead squat, nice job, Heather. That's such a hard movement. Especially with your hands narrow like that. You all did great, and I'm so glad that you came. What a nice, 